everybody. Uh, it's Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. So happy April. I have been sharing with uh, our Junior South classes our new uh, milkweed plant that came from Florida. And I wanted to update you on how the caterpillars were doing. Uh, so we talked a lot about it in our morning meeting yesterday, the importance of me bringing them inside yesterday and making sure they were safe. Guess what? I forgot. So, I, after our morning meeting this morning and helping do, helping some friends with some other work, I thought, okay, I want to give you an update as to how everything's going. So, I want to show you what I've got here. I'm just going to kind of be on the edge. I've got our monarch uh, caterpillar uh, habitat here. And it's mesh all along the outside and then has like a clear plastic here at the bottom. And this is actually the top where the monarchs make their um, chrysalis. Okay. So I've got that and I'm going to put a tissue, like a napkin there at the bottom. And the napkin holds um, where we're going to put the milkweed and also um, any of the droppings that the monarchs leave. I'll put more in when I bring it inside, but it makes over like a really easy cleanup if you just have a napkin there at the bottom. Um, so then, let me see, I'll move my screen here and you can see the plant, the monarch or the, the milkweed plant. So the big um, caterpillar that we were talking about the other day, he really looks like he's about to make his J. So what I'm going to do is very carefully, I'm going to um, use my scissors and cut off the milkweed that he's on. I can show it to you. So he is just gonna go directly into our uh, habitat. Um, I'm not going to touch him or try and move him or anything. He looks really good. He um, He's still moving, he, he looks great. So I'm just gonna put him directly into our uh, habitat so you can see if I move, he's just right here. Okay, so I want to see who else I can bring out to. Sorry, I'm shifting around so much here. Let's see. Here's one over here. And this guy isn't too small. Ryan and I talked about yesterday during our morning meeting that if they're really small, they can actually go through the mesh on um, the screen in the habitat. This guy is plenty big. And you can actually see where he has been eating already over here. So I'll put him in. Now milkweed is very interesting. I don't know if you can tell. You probably can't. In these two spots where I've cut off the milkweed, there actually is like a milky white substance that comes out from the plant. And that's actually the poisonous part. You don't want to get it in your eyes or anything. It can cause um, some vision issues. So you don't, actually I'm just, I'm not, won't even go near that area again. I don't even want to touch it. But I am going to look on the underside of our leaves to see if I can find any eggs. I'm not good at really finding the eggs. Or I think there might be one right there, but I'm gonna let nature help that egg. I think that is an egg, but I, I, I'm gonna leave the eggs. Whenever I've brought eggs in in the past, I've had a hard time getting them to hatch, so I wanna give him the best opportunity possible. Now, the other day we counted six caterpillars. Sometimes they hide. I do see one right over here. I'm just going to cut off a few more for everyone to see. Here he is. Here's the next one. You can see he's pretty good sized also. He's moving around. His head's moving. I'll put him in. And actually, it's probably, oh goodness, I found one more. He's a good size one too. Cut him off. I'll show you this one. He's right here. It's a pretty good size one. So I'm going to put him in our habitat. And I think I'm going to hunt for the rest in a little bit. Other ones I remember being pretty small. So I don't want to... I don't want to take them off the plant if they're too small. 
So for right now, we have four caterpillars. The three smaller ones look like they're all about the same age. Um, so maybe they have been hatched for, oh, I found one more as we're sitting here. <laughs> There's one more. They all look like they've been hatched for about a week or two, probably a week. Here he is. Oh, wrong way. So we've got five. And I'll have to look for the next one here. Anyway, um, I'm going to bring them inside and put them on my dining room table where we Zoom chat together every day. And so we can check in the progress of our monarchs um, as they go through their life cycle. So right now they're in the second stage. So the, remember the first stage is when the eggs are uh, laid on the leaves of the milkweed plant. And the second stage is when the, the caterpillar comes out of the egg. So that's where we're at right now. And we will be able to observe together the life cycle of the monarch um, remotely on our computers. And I can give you updates and that kind of thing about it. So anyway, I will bring them inside and make sure they have plenty of leaves to munch on for the next day. Usually I'm going to add a couple more leaves. Um, but before I clean up, I am going to hunt for that last caterpillar. All right, everyone. Thanks so much. Bye.